That man told us he tried to help, but the home was engulfed in flames. Family that we got in touch with today said they just can't bring themselves to go on camera about this yet. When Juan Rodriguez looks across the street, he sees more than charred siding and boarded windows. He said, my baby, my baby, my baby. People he still sees out. the flames and the kind of images you want to forget but can't. I can live sleep last night. I got this shadow right here in my face. Rodriguez says he tried to help, but there was no way to get inside with fire filling the unit. I want to jump in, but the fire gives so much, I, I can get in. You know, almost get in because he told me about the baby four years old inside there. The 25-year-old woman he's talking about able to get out with her five-month-old, but her four-year-old daughter didn't. They were airlifted to Loyola Hospital suffering from smoke inhalation and burns. I was probably about maybe seven or eight blocks away and you could see the you could see the large plume of smoke from from the fire. Fire Marshal Javon Cross says it started in the first floor living room and it took more than 40 firefighters to get it out, leaving this home uninhabitable. Cross said tragedies like these are hard on everyone. The, the majority of us as firefighters, we have children. And so there's a, you know, it, it definitely touches a, touches a nerve with us. Tonight, it's still not clear what started that fire. Fire officials tell me they don't know when investigators will have those answers, but we'll follow up. Reporting in Aurora tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.